closer to the Quante Park. Sounds to be a prosperous 2021. So welcome once again at Al Ali Online TV English News. I'm Yumna Atwa at Al Ali Via Salam Stadium to get you the top weekly news of the Club of the Century. So let's start with the headlines. Al Ali qualifies to the CAF Champions League group stage after defeating AS Sonedi 4 0. Musimani promises Al Ali fans with Quantapal and competing for FIFA Club World Cup. Last Friday, Al Ali drew with Wadi Digla 0 0. Walter Bwalia signs for four years. Mohamed Magdi Hamza ranks ninth in the World Shot Put ranking. Al Ali basketball men and women teams win National League. Mohamed Al Bayali and Hana Goda win gold medal at the table tennis national competition. Al Ahli qualifies to the CAF Champions League group stage after defeating AS Sonedi 4 0. Al Ahli defeated AS Sonedi 4 0 in the second leg of the CAF Champions League group stage, round of 32, in Tuesday at Al Ahli Riyadh Salam Stadium. In the ninth minute, our striker Ahmad Rayyan had a clear chance to score the opening goal in the game. However, his header hit the bar. Four minutes later, Tahir Muhammad Tahir's shot gave us the lead in the match. Our veteran Walid Suleiman provided an amazing pass to Tahir, who managed to find the target. Ryan had another scoring opportunity in the 17th minute, but he was fueled by AS Sonindip's goalkeeper, who was sent off. With eight minutes remaining in the first half, Suleiman doubled the score for Al Ahli after receiving a wonderful cross from Al Ahli's left back, Ali Maloul. In the minute 60, Tahir Muhammad Tahir was substituted by Muhammad Magdi Afsha, who just recovered from COVID-19. Seven minutes later, Al Ahli received a penalty, which was converted successfully into the net by our defender Badr Benoun. The Red Eagles continued their efforts in increasing the score, and it was not until the 19th minute when Gahraba managed to score Al Ahli's fourth goal in the game. The referee then blew his four-time whistle to grant Al Ahli a precious 4-0 victory thus qualifying the team to the CAF Champions League group stage. Musimani promises Al Ahli fans with Quantapal and competing for FIFA Club World Cup. Musimani said that he managed to achieve a positive result, in addition to giving Sadi Samir the chance to play after coming back from his injury, and explained the reason behind the change in the team formation, which is due to having several injuries and absence. Moreover, Musimani addressed his thoughts about leading Al Ahli in the FIFA Club World Cup. He expressed that every person has dreams and ambitions, which he wishes to achieve in his working career. Moreover, each manager and each team wishes to win the FIFA Club World Cup. Finally, he promised Al Ahli's fans that he will fight to win the Egyptian and African Super Cups and representing African football in the best possible way in the tournament. Last Friday, Al Ahli drew with Wadi Digla 0 to 0. Al Ahli drew with Wadi Digla 0 to 0 at Al Ahli Stadium in the fifth fixture of the Egyptian Premier League. With that result, the Red Eagles currently sits in the second place, having a total of 10 points from our full match. Musibani described the team performance but not being very well in the final third of the game, saying that they failed to score the chances that they had, along with a team who knows how to defend well, adding that he believes that Muhammad Abdel Munsif is the man of the match. Walter Bwalia signs for four years. Al Ahli's head of marketing and transfers, Amir Tawfiq, announced the signing of a Ghana striker, Walter Bwalia, on a four year contract starting from January 2021. Tawfiq finalized the deal with the Ghana representatives while also coordinating with Al Ahli president, Captain Mahmoud Al Khatib. And Bwalia expressed his excitement, saying that it is a great honor to wear Al Ahli's historic red jersey and wishes to be successful in his new mission and huge responsibility from his point of view. Mohamed Magdi Hamza ranks ninth in the World Shot Put Ranking. Our player Mohamed Magdi Hamza ranked in the ninth position in the World Shot Put Ranking for 2020, according to the International Association of Athletics Federations. Hamza came in the ninth place following his important achievement in the Shot Put Tournament at the Grand Cairo competition, which he won and saw him qualify for the 2020 Tokyo Olympics. The International Association of Athletics Federations releases the ranking every three months based on the statistics of the players and teams. 
Al Ahli basketball men and women teams win National League. Al Ahli men's basketball team succeeded to clinch the National League title after defeating Al Ittihad of Alexandria 68 to 66, while Al Ahli women's basketball team clinched the title after defeating Sporting Club 67 to 32. The Suez Canal Authority Hall witnessed a strong performances from both teams. The Red Eagles secured this title despite all the difficult circumstances they faced, as missing several players after testing positive for COVID-19. Mohamed El Bayali and Hannah Gouda wins gold medal at the table tennis national competition. Al Ahli table tennis player Mohamed El Bayali and Hannah Gouda secured the gold medal in the national competition, which was held at Suez Canal Authority Hall in Ismailia. El Bayali defeated his same mate at Al Ahli Khaled Asr 3 to 0, as well as Gouda, who defeated her teammate at Al Ahli Mariam El Hodebi, also 3 to 0. Thanks for watching Al Ahli Online TV English News. From Al Ahli Wiya Salam Stadium, I'm Yumna Atwa. See you next week.